Hi there. The walking and talking in seed box. Hello. How is everyone? Okay, seriously, we're back. Uh, Jesse is in Vegas. In fact, he is probably just now getting to Vegas. Oh, whoops. Slowly combat crawling into the hotel room. Uh, tonight we have Chris Nixon. He won Omaha with Baron Von Buzzsaw. That is his new well, name hi, now. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and of course, Matt's with, with us. <laughs> and the Talking Exceed Box. <laughs> Yes, the Talking Exceed Box of Dreams and Magic, which we will get to talk to the daddy of the Exceed Box on Sunday. But let's start off with, uh, welcoming Chris onto the show. How you doing? Doing great. Thank you for having me. How was the PTC? Um, rough. Like, rough? top cuts were very stressful. I heard some, uh, problems arose during time. Oh, top four. Top four. Okay, so what's shenanigans yeah, like, no, like, like no one knew that there. I had no idea. No one knew uh, rules about reversals. Apparently not. Like it. And I was about to kill my buddy there, and didn't because of that. Yeah. You block. Um, you respond. You play the card. You uh, go through things. For. Because I don't think Joe knows what happened. I do. I don't. I really don't. Gross. Um, he had one of his attacks removed itself from the card pool uh, because M4 Vapor Cannon. Um, if an attack gets removed from the card pool like that and gets aborted, you're not allowed to play a reversal. Yeah. Because there's no uh, attack on the board to reversal. Yep. Uh, apparently people didn't know that. Uh, is that a bit? That's basically what happened. Is someone trying to play reverse yeah. something happen? And I'm yeah. trying to go wider. You guys had to uh, restart the entire game or something. Yes. That's, was there a reason why? Or uh, since we didn't know about that and we kept going. Okay, I guess. I mean, it, it it saved him from dying that game. Then he beat me round our game one. Then I beat him the next two. Okay, I mean. You still won, so yeah. that's that's the, all that matters right now. I just hope that like that's not that should not be something set in stone that keeps happening. I agree. Um, to, let you guys, to let the audience and you guys know, I'm trying to be wider eye and shock, but I'm also part Japanese, so this is about as wide eyed as I get. <laughs> but, um, so let's talk about the rest of your day, though. Now that we've gotten the Awkward well, actually, thing out of the way. actually, before we do that, why don't we actually just talk about you, Chris? Because you've never been on the show, so That's a good tell point. us who are who you are, how you started UFS, what have you been enjoying? Well, I started or I started UFS after the Naruto card game died many years ago. Like it took me about a year to oh, actually. Yes, it took me about like a year and a half to actually find this game and. I've been playing it since about Ruler Time came out. Okay. About right that time. All right. I do remember the passing of the Naruto game. Uh, I believe that's right at the same time uh, the Dragon Ball Z game came out. And that whole fiasco where Namgo Bandai said, yes, both the games are compatible. You can play both. Oh, yeah. And then the they were compatible. Died, like, years before it. Had like five sets, I think. It was a good game, but I don't know. No, it was the Nam like it was the built on the same engine as the Naruto engine. Yes. And then they had, swore had, to God it was gonna be was, interchangeable with Naruto. And, and then and they did something to the really cards. So well. And then they did something to the cards in the Dragon Ball that made it non interchangeable with Naruto. And you could always do it, but there's they had to make certain exceptions, like male and female didn't really exist in Naruto for the card games. That like obvious male and female characters like Naruto and Sakura. Just Naruto's bad anyways. No offense. It's okay. I, I mean, I'm one of those people just like I liked it very early on. And then filler crap happened. Yeah, you skipped. Then when it when it when it came to the states. I kind of became a hipster about it. I'm just like, okay, I 
there are certain aspects of the community of just like, nope. God, I was, I was in ninth grade when it came to the States. I was too old. <laughs> right. I already but, got uh, to that point in uh, my Naruto fandom where you're like, yeah, I'm just going to read the book every now and then and just get caught up that yeah. way. <laughs> it's like, I'm happy it ended. It took forever. Oh, don't worry. They got Boruto now. Yeah, I only had 10 chapters. Oh, no, okay. no, there's I, a I sequel manga be... coming out. It's done by uh, uh, the Naruto's author's apprentice. Okay. It's continuing the story. Meanwhile, on Friendship is Water, also known as One Piece... <laughs> Not to be confused with Friendship on Land, which is known as Fairy Tale. We've now insulted the majority of the anime audience. Let's continue this. <laughs> well, I, mean, I play a lot of card games. All right, so That's what else it. have you played? Have you played Versus, Card Fight? Uh, over the years, like Pokemon, what I started with, we moved on to Yu Gi Oh! Won, won a few events, topped a bunch. Like, nothing, like, too huge, just, like, a regional level. Those then, are hard to win, though. Yeah. Especially in other games. Yes. Uh, Naruto, I, I won. Young being like, Naruto, I won a bunch of, like, tuning events, which is basically a PTC. Yeah. They did have uh, good prize support for that game, though. They had some really nice playmates. They did. Their mats are very nice. Yeah, I know. Uh, one of my friends, he played that game a lot. Had a lot of cards. Uh, he was the judge for it out in Syracuse yeah, before like he became the judge for UFS. Like, I judged it here for a little bit because the judge just kind of often left without telling anyone. It's like, well, I guess I'll take over. He was a ninja. For... I guess. He wasn't very good at the card game. Okay. Didn't like losing. All right. So back to UFS while we're so we can get off this goofy tangent. <laughs> Wonderful tangent. Uh... So, what are you enjoying about the game now? Uh, right now, I mean, I'm just enjoying looking at the symbols that I never play, like, good in order. Like, I mean, I didn't play that for this, but I have decks for it that I've been looking into and actually trying out to hopefully play eventually. Hope, how hyped are you for Elagor, then? Who has good in order? I like his cards. I don't like him. Hey, so do I. <laughs> I don't think he does anything. Because if you play against someone that just kills you in one turn, he does nothing. Mm -hmm. like, like, if the game shapes up a bunch to be a pokey back and forth game... Yeah, it'll be good. Which, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Like, I'm hoping that this set does positive things for the game. Yes. But I think it's... A lot of people are stubborn in not wanting to change their play style. And the other half will be too lazy to change their play style. So I have a feeling it will take a while till people innovate enough and show the power level of the set. It, it will, this power level, that perceived power level we're expecting to come out uh, to alter the game state. So I do Which have a question. I'm hoping to do it with the RPTC. So I do have a question. Since you have played Metal Man, uh, and Metal Man does use all of the uh, Deforester, how scary were some of the decks that weren't Metal Man that were using Deforester? shouldn't be around. I'm drawing 30 cards at a turn is dumb. Now, do you think it, it should be stapled? Both of them should be stapled Metal Man only? Or do you think that we just need to get rid of the card in general? Or I mean, if it was Metal Man only, eventually something will come out to make it so Metal Man can actually use that effect to that point. And that's not good. Like, the plus one free speed is great on Metal Man. I almost considered cutting it from my deck because speed's almost not that important. Yeah, you just, for you just like all the rain flushes. Yes. I'm, By the way, virtual high five for being a rain flush fan. Yes, the card's amazing. Like it's really good in Metal Man because I mean, like, if you poke with it early and they block, like say the first attack, usually like turn two, that one hits both times. Yeah, he was uh, the first uh, robot master I built when Mega Man first came out. I was like, all right, this is all really fun and all, but I, I want to play this eight hand size that came out a little while later. <laughs> Yeah, Metal Man was actually the first one I built, too, for uh, my girlfriend who's, who was playing at, like, Gen Con and mm -hmm. other things. I think I remember talking to you about I think we've had this discussion before. Yeah. You said she was playing it. Yep, because we played it in teams. Yep. Oh, and Turbo. Yeah. 
Metal Band's a very fun deck, and I'm I'm glad that someone finally won with it. With it, I was I was too much of a coward. I I always wanted to just have those more cards. Like my list from Arkansas and this one, they're not a lot different, but they have their differences. Where this one is a lot faster than that one. Just like in the Killing Dinosaurs, just sped through people real fast. Yeah, Killing Dinosaurs so good at point. Yes, like the other one was more control, went more toward late game. Like I don't need that. My late game's already pretty good, and just just the nature of being void gives you a good late game. Yeah, and I turn and then Metal Man, and, and then being Metal Man just gives you infinite gas. Yes, as long as your stuff's not blocked, which yeah. I have like the N four Vapor Cannons and uh, Psycho Ball, which people generally didn't block. Yeah, or baited our early revoke, which I'm cool with that too. Mm -hmm. So, how hype are you for Transform if it ever comes out? Oh, card's so good in Metal Man. Yeah, I saw that card. It was like, Metal Man for life. Yes. I, it's Metal Man Transform. It's just like one of my decks that I have just sitting in a pile in my room. It's like, I'm going to get four of this card when it comes out. And I'm just, it's just going to be set and ready to go already. So like I'm looking to build something like Oh, go ahead, Joe. Oh, I was going to ask, uh, what were some hard matchups you had at the Omaha PTC? Because, you know, Omaha, uh, they're, they're really into the game, and they're a very yeah, high-level like caliber group. I and mean, I've been playing with them for the past two years. So I mean, and with them, I'm pretty much used to the stuff that they're playing, so I mean, we know how to deal with each other. But uh, my hardest, like I would say my hard matchups were definitely the top eights, like top eight day, or top cuts. Like, Dimitri isn't exactly the best matchup for me, but it's not a terrible one. Mega Man's the same thing. Because, like, the game, the actual game one, I got hit by it for a 20 damage reversal in turn two, which that sucked. And I died, like, the next turn. Uh, and Athena is no fun to deal with, with DeForester and just outspeeding the crap out of you. Yeah, I... I've beaten that deck... It's still just irritating to play against. Yeah, it's like I, I had to turn to it in the finals. Because, like, I'm probably going to lose if I don't kill it now. Which, But he did say, like, like I only have two attacks next turn. You're probably going to win the, the turn after if you didn't kill me this turn. Sounds good. Yeah. Well, at least he was honest with you up front. Yeah. Uh, what else do we got? Like, in Swiss, I didn't really have any problems that day. Like I, I tied against uh, Snake Man round two. I failed my check to kill him on on his turn with a with a top spin reversal, and he killed me. Then time ran out for game three. Yeah, Void is just a really resilient symbol right now. Yeah, because like against Dimitri, it, it kind of sucks to slowly lose your foundations. You know, I get them back, but it costs me yeah. cards in my hand. Yeah, like the ones that are the most like with you, you have the unique. Issue, unique thing of you can just keep on getting back your both your most important one. Yeah. Uh, and so they just have to keep flipping the same card every turn. I almost didn't actually use that effect on, other than like the two damage is great, and I went to kill him. Yeah. Like it, that's the thing. I was like, sometimes it just doesn't matter to you with Metal Man. Yep. You just want to use your face downs. Like I, the, like the more I actually think about it, because I haven't had time to think lately uh, for UFS. Metal Man's a really awesome call, especially with Dimitri Dex all over the place. Yes. Um, and then, like, you have uh, Rain Flush is really good against him because he can't block a lot of attacks. Yep, Leaf Shield is great against him because yeah, Leaf Shield with all his throws. Yep, since two or three throws a turn, I can block that. And game one, I destroyed him with low attacks. Game two, he blew up all my foundations on his turn two, which that sucked for me. I couldn't do anything about that. But, like, I've. Basically, basically been, been playing, playing Void for two years, and the deck's pretty resilient against a lot of things. Um, it doesn't have, like, the super explosive, stupid crap of, like, a Felicia deck or whatnot, like, with boats and stuff, but... It's like, I've only lost to Felicia once, and that was in, like, testing against my buddy who overslept and didn't make it to the PTC. Like, every other Felicia deck I've just walked over that I played against. Yeah. Like, stack this... Have problems against a lot of things, and yep. the way Void is like yours obviously is a little bit specialized for Metal Man. Yeah, there's a lot of just generic Void cards. Like you could put any character with Void. Oh yeah, it'll be really good. And change twenty cards around easy enough. Like that's basically that's what I've been doing for two years. Yeah, and I planned 
Hikaru's gonna make me finally change symbols. It's like I'm, I'm finally like, like fine, I play fire. Yeah, and I like stun six reversals or more. See, I'm, I'm not gonna reversal people. That's 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 the well, I'm not I'm manly not enough approach. approach. I'm gonna you kill you on turn two. That's now, that's the great. Question cool. is, with the new stuff, are you going to be shifting into that new format that they're trying to push with endings, the 10 or less foundation area? Uh, no. <laughs> I mean, the stun, the stun 8 attack is cool, but I can deal with that. If I, can, if I know if they're playing that, I'm going to save revoke for it. Yeah. Well, I just... That's if I'm playing Metal Band. Other decks just deal with that. Yeah. Like Celestial being around... Like, I don't see those kind of cards being that much of an issue, really. Like something, more needs, about it. Like something needs to blow me up for me to actually be worried about it. I mean, we still have... Like, still have a good chunk of the set. 50-odd cards to see, so... Yeah. yeah. I don't know, like, if you have 30 foundations and they stun 8 you, well, like, cool. You lost your character for nothing. Uh, I'll just be an Acherus and I'll ready it. Do yeah. it again. Good old Anna Karis. Yeah. I, I would be really interesting to see if, that, if someone actually tried to do that. Yeah. Um, He's a very underrated character. He was he did really well in the Turbo event at Gen Con. He did. Uh, yeah, my, my buddy beat him, kind of. They, they, like, they went to time. They just rolled dice to you wins. And my buddy beat him in that. I mean, yeah, Hoytzel is Hoytzel is Hoytzel. <laughs> yeah, I got turned two by that in, in Turbo. Yeah, I built that. I built uh, the Fire Hoytzel deck for Jeff. Yeah. To start everyone with. And then I gave the list to like three other people the night before. <laughs> yeah, Jeff. Yeah, Jeff turned two me. We basically had it identical hands, though. Like, if if I would have went first, I probably would have turned two to him. Because I had four shield rams in hand. <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you're, you're not, not going to be able, able to make it to the PTC or the 2K, unfortunately. Yes. Would you have played Metal Man if you went? If you were going? Probably not. Who'd you I play? I would have played Mega Man 2. Really? How come? Just because you want to play something different, or? I feel like since I won with Metal Man, it's like I just want to try, I just want to play something different for now. Like I've been playing Metal Man for a while. Like, like, that's I, can fair. Give it, I can give it back to Kelly. Like, that's I guess fair. I could have played Terry too, which that's what she was playing at RPTC. She destroyed the other Metal Man. Right. On to the next part, Joe. Ah, oh, we got some spoilers. All right. I should probably. So these pull up are the spoilers. five remaining spoilers that were posted last week. Uh, we did not have an episode last week. I came down with God knows what. Uh, there was just something going you didn't around. You know what I day worked. it was for a while. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. I mean, I was walking around with like 101, 102 degree temperature for two days. Ugh. So, and then Matt, Matt was busy and Jesse was busy. So we just decided to say, screw it. So I turned on and streamed Overwatch for an hour and a half, which is also on the YouTube now. Go watch that. I'm not that bad. I'm not that good, but I'm not that bad. I'm okay. I didn't, I didn't play, play enough of that, because I'm just waiting for the game to actually, actually come out, so I can keep my skins. I think I'm pretty bad at it. You just need a team that actually listens to you. Oh, of course. Which, no, that doesn't happen. <laughs> not with randoms. Uh, I played with friends. That yeah. doesn't happen. <laughs> you play on PC. I'm always going to be playing with randoms because I'm playing on PS4. If if, if I can convince can someone to buy it for me on PS4, PS4 I'll play on PS4, PS4 as well. But I didn't I like that you needed to spend sixty dollars for the console version. Yeah. Right. Anyways, let's look at these. So we have oh. Call of the Dragon Queen, which is two for five, plus three mid block. No idea whose symbols these are, but this is a all it's good and water. Though. All good and water. Uh, I do not know who this is in the picture. Yeah. I, I I was, was bad. bad. I, I should have spent, spent more time, time looking, looking at art and looking up characters. 
It's so, probably what I'm going to do tomorrow so I can identify these things for people for the pre-release. There we go. So we got uh, a static ability of after you play this card, remove one card from your opponent's discard pile from the game. That is actually pretty decent. Yeah. Um, that actually, you could probably put this in Shin real well and help with that uh, RFG gameplay. Uh, just a bunch of other stuff. Uh, it also has enhanced command if the zone of your charge or slam attack is mid, draw a card. Yet, probably another reason why Gemini Man is gone. No. What, what, what does that have to do with anything? anything? He has no, we don't have that many slam attacks. Like, like his, his unique, unique card was a slam, but... He had two slams. slams. They were both mid. Yeah, I don't, I don't play them. them. Yeah, no, no one played them. I know. I'm just trying to make conversation here, people. Work with them. I mean, well, the first part's anti Etten Cellus. Yes. Yeah. It is. That's uh, real. This E probably could also be used in um, Tau Bane. Yeah. That, and also uh, Tatsumi, if you play her off of water, mm -hmm. which was one of the builds we were kind of theory crafting. Uh, she, has she has some slams, slams I believe, and a charge. Uh, so, so you can, can put this in her to have card draw, draw to kind of and make up for the foundations, foundations you're going to be blowing up for her effect. Card draw is always good. Yep. People say, say that it's not, not as, as good, good in this game because you drop your hand size every turn. Nope. I disagree. I, I disagree. think, think it's, it's actually even more important, especially if you're playing an attrition match. I mean, when you're playing, like, the other person has that many cards, too, or more if they're playing a bigger character. I mean, you need more cards than them. Yeah. All, right. All right. We got next uh, Elimination Mode. Elimination Mode is 2 difficulty 5 plus 3 low. Uh, are these Cadenza symbols? Uh, yes. It's, it's one of his starter exclusive, exclusive cards. cards. Isn't this also Huitzel's exact symbol spread? Yep. yep. Large yellow robots. Yep. yep. That's all I got to say to that one. Large I mean, yellow robots. It was it was obviously on purpose. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't. Well, know like the like if it wasn't on purpose, purpose then I, I I don't know. So it's got response commit after a player discards a card due to an effect draw card. Um. It's a low block. Um, it depends on what the rest of his stuff is. Uh, like, using it after you do his response isn't amazing, because they're going to be building anyway. That means they're building and their turn's basically over anyways. But if we get more proactive things, like his rocket press, this card could be a thing. Doesn't the K-Dash card that has combo and commit a foundation... Your opponent discards a card, and the attack gets plus X damage, where X is the troll. Doesn't that have Void on it? Yeah, yeah there's, there's that attack. attack. Uh, okay. Hey, but, like, if he uses his effect, like, when they block with the card, doesn't he get to discard something from their hand? Uh, yes, if they block with a non-attack card. Yeah, I mean, it's a draw there. That's not a thing, yeah. Oh, there we go. Like, I'm also, I'm more, I'm hoping that there's enough of his stuff to do the discard strategy with another character, namely Satoshi. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I want to do fire Satoshi discard. Just strip their hand and then just beat you to death with these giant obscene fire moves. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. We have Push the Limit. Insert 80s training montage here. This card's obscene. So this is zero five plus 3 low block. Uh, Hikaru symbols. Three of them. <laughs> uh, three of them. Uh, after you play the static ability, well, actually, it's all static. So the first static ability is after you play this card, your opponent flips one foundation. This is really good in Earth Dimitri. Uh, and then the second ability is while this card is in your card pool, both players gain uh, gain the air and water resource symbols. Um, so Delta Kick just got another card to bounce in addition to Summer Heat. Yeah. Uh, this 
This card is obscene because it's a 0-5 with a low block that does something your opponent cannot stop. And then the second ability is Flavor Text. I mean, there's arguably reasons. Like, you could be cute and use Dancing Flashes. Uh, or not Dancing Flashes. Like, you could use, like, air or water specific abilities and other characters that you play this and then play an attack or something. Mm -hmm. Mostly Dancing Flash. Yeah, Dancing Flash. Like, you can do cute things, but it, it, it's Flavor Text. Which, to be fair, that's that's all it should really be, because that yeah. first ability on a zero five is pretty good. And it, it is a good effect. Yeah, like I for you could play this in Tatsumi, um, to where like you lock down all their foundations that are relevant, and then you flip the rest of them with this. Yep. Or just in air decks, you uh, flip all a bunch of their stuff, and then. Ever hopeful, the rest of them. Like, it's it's going to be obscene. Just your foundations are not safe anymore. They're not. I'm okay with that. You're okay with it, Mister Medlan over there. Like it's kind of needed, though. I I, I kind of like sitting there living for for forever with fulfilled in battle. Too many games ways take to too long. Nah. Some games just take a while. We don't need four-hour final matches again. We really no. don't. They like, took a break for Taco Bell. That's not my that's point. why it was four hours. First off, Taco Bell does not serve the superior Mexican meal that is the chimichanga. <laughs> Secondly, we don't need to have four-hour matches anymore. We just don't. A match, a full match should take about an hour to an hour and a half at most. We've got to move I away from these four-hour events, or even worse, the events where we can't even finish a PTC and it has to be held at a later time in another state than what the original PTC was. I mean, it sounds awful. If I'm pl Even if I'm like playing a fire deck that wants to kill people on turn two, like my supposed uh, Hikaru deck that I'm working on, uh, if I'm in the finals of Worlds, no, I'm going to take, you know, I'm a t even if I'm a turn two deck, I'm going to take a half hour on that turn to make sure I can kill you. Yes. Like, I, 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 take I think finals should be about three hours. I would, I would, I'm going to say like two, but yeah. yeah. It, should, it should take more time than the normal game. Like, top, top yeah. cut should always take a little bit more time because you have to think of everything. Like, I'll concede that point. Because it is the finals, but I'm talking about first or second place. Mm -hmm. like, but we don't need don't the incidents we've been we used to have. We really don't. We need to move away no. from that. I mean, that's also scheduling issues and other things happening as well. Like when you try to do the top eight for two events in the same day, and half the people in top eight for one of them are in the other event. That's that's the fault of scheduling. Yeah, that's the fault of scheduling and poor planning. So, anyways, our tangent aside, this we like this good. card. good. <laughs> Every Hikaru card is good. Uh, Soul Trap. Like Hikaru tomorrow. Uh, this is four difficulty three plus one high block four mid for four. Uh, these are not Sherry symbols, right? No. Okay, this I was asking because it did have pairs. Soul in the name, so. Uh, this is good order or good life in water. Uh, it's charge and stun one, and then just a ludicrous ability of response from your hand. Add this card to your card pool after your opponent plays an attack during your turn. Discard it and play this attack. No control check necessary. This is why I'm not playing reversals, by the way, in my Hikaru deck. <laughs> because it's uh, literally you've activated my trap card. Yeah, oh, of course. I mean, those symbols should side four of these. Yeah. There's like when, no yeah. not to. When I saw this card, like when they were originally flashing it around on that video, uh, I thought the center symbol was fire. And I was just flipping out happy for joy because it was a stun one fire water move with a block that was four damage. That was going to put in Hikaru and just wreck everyone's faces. And then I saw life, and I'm like, oh. And then I read that ability, and I'm like, oh, right. Um, this card's insane. Yeah, this card works with Call of the Dragon Queen for the draw effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
this also kind of screws over Jeddah, despite the fact that Jeddah shares two symbols with this. Yeah. I enjoy playing Jeddah. He's I good. I Elagor, too. I well, still think anyone who plays in the Team Seals Turbo event at the 2K this weekend... Grab as many when of people, these as possible. Yeah, well, you, you take someone and have every single copy of this card that you open within your four decks on your team, uh, you add, you give them all to one person for their sideboard. Or, 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 sorry, I guess there's no sideboards. There's sideboarding in between games. But you just put all of them into one person's deck off of one of these symbols. And then anytime you, the teams reveal their characters and you see an Elagor, just send that person with like 4x Soul Trap after the Elagor. Yeah. Every day. So build your deck to completely and crap on that person's deck. All right. It's totally what I would do if I were there this weekend. And then the final card. Uh, Dragon Flare. Eight difficulty, three, plus zero, low block, eight mid for eight. Death, evil, and fire. It's safe. It's stun two. Your opponent and enhance of your opponent loses two vitality for each of your for each of their momentum. So, this is a really big attack for Wily, and you get to play this attack completely free with Natalie 2-dot. Two, uh, two yeah. yeah. Do, do you like playing Natalie? Do you hate Snake Man? <laughs> play this card. <laughs> this card blocks Snake Man stuff with, with ease, and if they have momentum left over from not killing you or something, then you, just, you completely murder them. Yeah. Same with Felicia. Oh, Felicia, you got six momentum. That's cute. You're you're now half dead. And now you still have an eight damage, eight speed move coming at you. I mean, literally, this is probably how Natalie finishes people now. This yeah. Is how, this is how Hikaru finishes people. Hikaru I wish this shared more free? symbols with Hikaru. Can Hikaru play this for free? No, but... He can make it stun four. Are you willing to uh, commit your board to playing this one attack? Yes. Okay. If, if I'm playing against uh, Felicia, gaining a bunch of momentum, yes. Yeah. Because I do that enhance. Make you lose, like, on average against that deck, you're just like, E, lose six. Now commit half your board to deal with my eight mid for eight. I'll I'll check a three and tap five every day. Alrighty. To to half kill my opponent. Chris, what are your thoughts? I mean the card the card has its good matchups and I just don't see it really seeing that much play. Like it's cool in Natali. Until We're she goes hinting away. at a thing, people. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I mean so. the E is really good against Felicia. And Get other characters build a ton of momentum, which I, I might side one or two of this card under those symbols, maybe. I don't know. What like, about I, you, I, I, hmm? I, I'm definitely thinking uh, in my fire decks. I will very much consider main decking one of one X of this. Yeah. Like, I don't <laughs> want to play it on turn two, but when you have all those ready foundations during the late game, it's not that hard to do. No, yeah. It's really not. And there's a lot of speed reduction right now. Yeah, I, I, like, I'm playing this card for its enhance. Mm -hmm. Yes. I Which is why I decided one or two against Talisha. Like, I'm playing it for its enhance and its block. Alright, that's it for all the spoilers. We'll have our full review probably sometime June, whenever everything comes up, and we can get a hold of the rest of the card images. We can get them sooner than that. They're posting the full spoiler after the pre-release weekend. So this weekend? No, next yeah. weekend. No, this weekend. I thought pre-release... Supposedly, pre-release is this weekend. Pre-releases start tomorrow. I thought pre-release was the 20th and the set comes out the 27th. Nope. They just skip a week for some reason. Okay. Like... 
That's why I was talking to you earlier before the show about setting up for our pre-release tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay. I didn't realize it came out that soon. Yep. Whatever. Comes out tomorrow. We'll hopefully get spoilers from people opening stuff. I'm assuming I, well. I'm <sighs> getting really hyped for people running those Friday pre-releases. So that means June. Look yeah. forward to probably more Mega Man spoilers. <laughs> we'll see. Yes, I'm hoping they have the seed box. What do you want? Nothing. I'm just. It's just dancing. Okay. All right. So we have the Rochester 2K happening this weekend. Yep. Uh, Chris, what do you think uh, is going to be there? Uh, the normal stuff: Athena, Dimitri, probably some Felicia's. Sounds like a pretty solid format. Yeah, I mean, then uh, just a bunch of other decks. Don't you wish Indians was legal? I do. Yeah, I do too. Which is why I want the Rochester. I like Vegas 2K is really neat and all, and I should be plugging it because uh, you know Sean's my friend, and yeah. it's gonna be a really awesome event. Like it sounds like there's gonna be a bunch of people there. Uh, good luck to everyone. Uh, I also think there's gonna be like two, three Dimitris. There's gonna be some Felicias. Uh, there's going to be some, like, either air or fire hyper aggro deck I think will make it in there and then get knocked out immediately, unfortunately, because it's not consistent enough yet. But, and Athena, of course. I'd like to see a not assets Athena void deck make it. Like, I'd like to see Jesse make it. Oh, yeah, I mean, he's, he's playing one of these decks I've named. I'm not going to say which one. Playing Raiden. Playing Fire Raiden, people. <laughs> no, no, no. See, the Rochester PTC. He's 100% playing Raiden. 100%. Yeah. At the. He's going to play he's... Order Raiden in Wreck. No, no. At the 2K, he's playing Fire Raiden. We've already been through this. <laughs> uh, yeah. so, I can't wait for them. Okay. I'm pretty much in agreement with Matt. Uh, we're going to see just the usual shenanigans because everybody knows how everything is built. Everybody knows how everything has worked. We're not going to have really big surprises. Um, it's unfortunate that Indians is not going to be there because we could definitely use the injection of new blood into the meta. Shake yes. things up because someone could come... If Indians was legal, we could have someone com come completely out of left field and just, like, sweep. They just couldn't get it out fast enough. And, and you know, that's just how it is. I called it like three months ago. It's like, it's, it's going to come out the day of Sean's 2K. And lo and behold, <laughs> comes right. out the day of Sean's 2K. So I have a question for you, got? Chris. Okay, yeah. go for it. Um, what are you going to use your voucher on that you won? I have no idea. I've been trying to figure out. I was like, I mean, I'm in a pretty central location. Like, driving is pretty pretty easy. You could go to the Rochester uh, CCG, uh, to the, not sorry, not 2K. That's this weekend. It's a bit too late that. But you could come to our PTC. And it's a possibility if someone gives me a place to stay and I'm down for it. Uh, I will look into it when everyone gets back. Yeah. Uh, I unfortunately think my house might be full of all of Poughkeepsie. Okay. But uh, I will get back to you on that because yeah. I want to get a lot of people for this because... It's the first set with endings that's out. It's going to be fun. What about Chicago? I, I think it will hopefully... Coming? What? Say, so what about the Chicago playgroups? Aren't they coming? Uh, I don't know. I don't actually know who's definitely coming or not right now. I'm assuming Maryland. I'm assuming Poughkeepsie. Um, but I just can't wait for our event. But let's go on to something else. Because I, I held Indians cards in my hand today, but I couldn't open them. <laughs> That's why I'm just so hyped for uh, playing in an actual event with Indians cards. All right. So speaking of ending cards, uh, no doubt all of us have been on the forums and seen that the ban list updated with a card that no one knows what it does. We just know that it's an Indians card that is in the... Uh, yeah. Set. It's that we're we're ninety nine percent certain from what people have told us 
that it's one of the randomized rares. So you're not going to get screwed over for buying a specific deck and getting like 4x of it. That's good. So just it's kind of sucks because I, I'm actually I'm hoping that they'll maybe do something about it where uh, people can maybe like send those in to get something off of uh, uh, like the pro the uh, redemption kit or something. Mm -hmm. That's that's an idea. Well, I mean, here's my question. No one, Kristen, field this one. Uh, do you feel that they should abandon or should have put just put in a functional rata and then just you know deal with it when the second print run of endings comes out? I think it depends. We don't know what it does. I would, I would say a functional rata, but yeah, I have no idea what it does. It could just be like a whole, it's just way too far gone, like it just needs too much. And basically just covering the text up with another text. I'd prefer to pass on that. Yeah. Like, arettas are hard, especially for new players. And they're hard on judges. Yep. Um, like, it's just, it's... I mean, if it's a small change, yeah. Yeah. It's no problem. But I'm, I'm imagining it's a pretty big change. Uh, if I'm, I just have a theory based upon how people have talked about the card that I think it's a similar thing like Airlight Key where yeah. people like read that card and there was four different interpretations of how the card worked. And so that, that's the reason why it's banned. Because it doesn't actually work potentially. There was four different interpretations of how Cadenza worked. I literally had to put it in low terms at one but, point. But you see, the rules, when you know, understand the rules, it is very straight up exactly how it works. <laughs> but uh, people were trying to find a the original loophole Air Light Key with, If you look at the rules with how Airlight Key was originally worded, it's actually impossible for it to work. Oh, no, absolutely. We went over that. That thing is like as confusing as all get out. It's just, I was saying, it's like, sometimes people read into stuff more than they should, because people were literally just like, well, what if you do this? It's like, look, Cadenza works like this. Uh, did you play, uh, did you play a non-attack card? Yes. Robot sad. Robot no can smash. Did you play a non-attack card? Yes. Uh, yes. I blocked one non-attack card. Yay, robot can smash. Robot has a happy. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were trying to find every single way because people sometimes, and this is not a slight at anybody, everybody does this. Sometimes we look at a card and we just try to read too much into it to get the maximum amount of profit out of the card, and then you just, like, wind up over here where the card is only really here. <laughs> I can't give it a lot of hand space here. I'm trapped within frames. Work with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I definitely You're... understand that one. Huh? Like, I definitely understand it. Like, sometimes it's kind of miss the word on a card. Like, oh, it does this. Oh, well, never mind. doesn't work. Or it's how it, I wanted it to work. It's like, give this attack plus two speed. It's like, but what if we do this? No, the card just says enhance command, give it plus two speed. But we can do this. No, the card literally just says turn it sideways, plus two speed. All right, what else do we got? We got any PTCs coming up? Uh, do we have any Danny Yeah, that's 2K picks? this weekend. And then there's... Uh, isn't there the one up in... Oh, my brain has stopped working. They went up in Canada. Uh, Calgary, Alberta. Yeah. It, it would help if I had the list in front of me. Montreal. That, I've don't run we out know of about Canada this every week? Know. I thought you had the list in front of you. No, I'm asking. Because there, there is job. one. Oh, no. See what happens. But there is one that's coming up. It's at Amusing Games. All right. Um, that's at uh, the end of the month. It will not have Indians legal, though, because the set is not legal th that weekend. Because I think it's actually the week before the set officially releases. And then June 4th and 5th uh, is the Rochester uh, PTC, where it will be legal. It'll be a fun time, because we'll be at Millennium Games and Hobbies. N no random cabin this year. 
for people to take pictures with Kevin by the fireplace. Which I still can't believe that that became a thing. That needs to be a top eight play map. They're they're working on it. I I think there was at one point uh, talks of having that be like a play map for the two K. Winnipeg. There we go. That's where it is. Uh, don't worry, Corey. I, I, if you try I, hard I don't enough, do stuff for a week. I don't look at this stuff for a week and I forget everything. Don't worry, Corey. You can be an anime at some point. I mean, if Attack on Titan can do it, you can do it. <laughs> We're reading the chat, Chris. Figured. <laughs> we need to get more involved with Twitch chat. Yeah. All right. Uh, what else we got? We have any versus news other than the game is still awesome. We're getting uh, to that. Yep. Uh, forget, yeah, I'll put the box back down. There's Origins is coming up. Uh, my hope is to be at Origins uh, and then come back with a bunch of stories from that and talk about the top eight decks. Uh, there's more news on that eventually. Uh, if people have specific things they want us to talk about Marvelverse, let us know on our Facebook. Uh, it might be like when there's slow days for UFS, we'll do shows for that. Or maybe we'll just do a separate recording every once in a while uh, that we'll put up. And if we really, really are desperate, I can go to that large pile back there. Got to work with the camera there. And break out old school verses. We dug about some of the old school decks back there. People want to know about the new stuff. There's there's no one. Um, there's no one uh, that. Brain fart. Sorry because it's Twitch chat. Uh, people want me to give them decks because Tim doesn't play anymore. Tim doesn't play anymore. Not really. He's going to play at our uh, PTC, but... That's he, here. He doesn't travel anymore. He plays Ashes. What's and when Ashes? he comes up, I'm going to... Uh, it's another LCG that's come out that oh. has really beautiful art. Um, and its mana system is really unique in the fact that it uses dice. Hmm. Uh, it's a really fun game. Okay, uh, they had like They had, like... 50, 60 people for their first major event. Oh, wow. That's pretty good for a new game. Yeah, and he got second place at it. Speaking of new games... Marvel Oh! Oh, for uh -huh. God's sake, you have it up the entire time, and you missed the queue. <laughs> yep. So, Matt and I have Exceed. been playing Exceeds. Uh, this weekend, we will be bringing back Brad, from who is... Grand High, Poobah, Lord Master, Dark Ruler of all of 99 games. Actually, Brad's kind of benevolent to be Dark Ruler. We should just save that for Jason. Brad's kind of like yeah. the Obi-Wan of the show, yeah, this, uh, in terms of bosses. <laughs> this box is from, we each got some review copies. Yep. Um, we've gotten to play a bunch of games. We're going to talk about it. We're going to review it. And then there will be a separate gameplay video that we put up a little later on, uh, or beforehand if I have the time on Saturday. Uh, but we're just going to be talking about the game with Brad, uh, sharing our experiences. Maybe he'll talk about some upcoming things for the game. Maybe he'll even we're unsure share what's yet. coming up after Red Horizon. Yep, that all depends on licensing, though. I'm yeah, unsure if he's allowed to yet. But we'll also have our Millennium Blades video. Uh, which will hopefully be recorded within the next week or so. And you're doing that so one on your own, right? Yeah. Yeah. You still got to tell me Sorry. how much I need to send you, how much I need to pay you to send out my yeah. copy. I went to uh, box it up, and the game's too big for the box I got. Still? So. Yeah, the one I have, it just barely doesn't fit. And I have a feeling if I walk in there with the way it is, uh, someone might just say, no, you can't send it like that. We, we also might just take a giant pile of duct tape and be like, all right, this will work. The fourth, the other side is just a giant mound of duct tape. 
I feel uncomfortable with this. <laughs> It'll be fine. Or I'll get an actual box. Don't worry. All right. Uh, Chris, do you have anything else you want to bring up before we sign off and flee into uh, the night? Did you guys want to talk about the top eight decks still? Uh, we can talk oh, about yeah. it a little bit. Like, like, it doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it was, been one of those crazy a, nights. Yeah, it's one of those weeks. And then also, it's, the problem was, I just remember looking at the top eight, and yours was the one that interested me the most, because I play Void. And I mean, what else was there in the top eight? There was... I'm bringing it up obviously now. Obviously, a Felicia. Give me See, one we had uh, Void Athena was, was second. Third was uh, All Mega Man. Fourth was, was it, Was that similar to, like, the one that was in the UK? Yes. I'm glad that that Mega Man seeing play because I thought he was good when he first came out and I tried to push him, uh, but just no one believed me and he was just he was missing just a tiny bit. Yeah. Uh, and it seems like that's that reversal stuff from Me from the actual Mega Man set. Okay, so we have uh, Tamron Cardwell uh, playing Void Athena. We have Richard. Silva Boda? Silvoda. Silvoda? Okay, I apologize, yeah. Richard. No, you're fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm playing Mega Man. Oh. Uh, fourth, we got Brian Velata. Byron. Oh, Byron, yeah. His name's By Byron. Not, not Brian. <gasps> Byron? Now, I this know it's Byron. This guy needs to play... Uh, he's playing Waterkin. He needs to play Battlecon. Because there's a Byron in that. Uh, <laughs> we got Corey playing... Corey Hicks playing Life Dimitri. Hey, Corey. Play a different deck. I know uh, you're watching. Play a different deck. Miles Tyler. God only knows what he's playing. I, I just don't see it. Yeah. Uh, Danielle Tyler. No idea what she's playing. <laughs> Uh, James Stevens, uh, he's playing Life Eva, top eight. And that what was did our this top set eight. for? I I did miss that that uh, another one of these Eva decks popped up. Uh, yeah, I like I like how the decks are getting smaller and smaller each time they top eight. Maybe maybe they'll finally get to the number I got to months ago, uh, which I believe was. I forget what I settled at. It was either 67 or 72. Uh, Matt, the Eva deck was 98 cards. Yeah, it's getting smaller. Okay. <laughs> the first one was 122 cards. There was more play. There was almost as many players in the event as there was cards in that in the deck. Is this like the 118 John Talbain deck with the moon token? <laughs> oh God, don't talk about that deck. But um. No, it's um like I like my fire builds that I came up with a while ago. I play tested so it was enough cards where you could play five to six foundations on turn one, cycle a card, draw, play five attacks on turn two, and uh, remove the eight cards for every single one of them, and you'll exactly have two cards left in your deck and discard pile combined. <laughs> so it's completely all in. That deck is just like you have you, that game's gonna be five minutes long, no matter what you do. So congratulations to everybody in top eight, but naturally the guy that uses metal blades wins the tournament. Metal blades is just the best. Mega Man Two, the video game proves it. You don't need anything else in that game but metal blades nope. and acid bubble. What was your favorite deck that well, was in your deck? I mean, my favorite deck was obviously mine, but other than that, I'd probably go with uh, my teammates, which was Mega Man. The deck is awful to play against. Like you, you get wrecked. Is it just because the it has such a diverse way of playing the game? I can cover almost any kind of weakness. I mean, I, I can get around him. 
it, it just takes a bit of work because I mean, he gets rid of he commits my shit. I'm like, that sucks. But then again, it's like, you lost a card in your hand. I just I'll just punish you for that. Mm-hmm. Like I and I caught red handed as Templars like every time. I just had too many. I want to see what both the Mega Man's uh, one dot and two dot, what they're going to be like after the new set comes out because there's a lot of interesting stuff for them. There is, like especially the uh, chain blade guard that we saw off of uh, Elagor. Hmm. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see Takuma because I mean, there is a character with his symbols. Yeah, I spent so long looking for that, and I just I gave up after a while. I didn't even realize that, that with Elagor. Uh, Wait, what? The sim- Takuma. What about um, him? Uh, in the Elagor deck, there's an Air Order character. Oh, yeah. okay. I completely so forgot about good cards. old Takuma. And we still have Zing's legal. Yay! Yeah. I think he'll be pretty scary. He yeah, probably hopefully. will. I enjoy playing him. I just want to know what... Uh, Renica does. Yeah. I almost opened up the store's product <laughs> just to figure out what uh, she did. But no, that would be wrong. Sad. But we'll find out tomorrow. Alrighty. So, the other announcements we got uh, I'm continuing my playthrough with Grimlock on Commander Mode and Transformers on Get Good. That's on Tuesdays. I have finally sat down, if you watched the last gameplay video Tuesday, uh, you can find all these on YouTube, or you can find them here on Twitch. Uh, I finally sat down and learned the best possible combos for Grimlock. Still not sure what the difference between Air T-Rex Power Driver and Air Robot Power Slam, the difference is because it's the same button presses, just sometimes he does one and sometimes he does the other. Either way, it's still a T-Rex knocking somebody in the air and then jumping up and pile-driving them, which is always fun. Uh, later on down the road, we'll, of course, have more Overwatch because I will be getting the game. Uh, at some point, we will be doing a complete playthrough of the entirety of Uncharted. Really? All four games? All four games. Because a man can only run from a Yeti for so long. And if you haven't played Uncharted 4, a man can only run around as a bandicoot for so long. I have a PS4, and I will never play the Uncharted series. Why? It's so good. I bought my PS4 for Destiny. It's like running around as Nathan Fillion. But, but Destiny... I, yes. can, I, I can run around with Nathan Fillion, actually. <laughs> yes. Online Halo, anime Halo. Yes. Not at all. I mean, <laughs> it's, what, what, I it's what Overwatch was supposed to be. Yeah, I know. Destiny is more akin to Titan. All right. So, Chris, thank you very much. 